No! Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late and the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. Make ready. Open fire. Wait for my signal. Fire! my signal. Open fire. My signal. Go. Wait for the signal. Fire now. Hold fire! 
Hold fire! Open fire. My signal. Fire! Hold fire! Wait for the signal. Open fire. My signal. Shoot! Make ready! Shoot! Prepare yourself. Shoot! Hold fire! Shoot! Fire. Wait for my sick fire now. Make ready. Go. Yourselves. Wait for the signal. Shoot. Wait for the signal. Signal. Fire! Hold fire!
Prepare yourselves. Fire now! Wait for the signal! Fire now! Hold fire! Shoot! Prepare yourselves. Open fire. Make ready! Fire! Prepare yourselves. Prepare yourself. Fire! Wait for my sick fire! Wait for the signal. Fire now! Wait for my signal. Fire! Prepare yourselves. Fire now! Wait for the signal. Go! Wait for the signal. Open fire. My signal. Shoot. Make it ready. Wait for my signal. Fire. Wait for my signal.
Wait for my signal. Open fire. Make ready. Go. It takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan that next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And what of them? Then? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Mm. It never it is. is. For the support of the glorious cause. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. As to say, there is no sir, man I better suited to assure the, the Congress really, that really. as no pecuniary consideration could have tempted me to Charles accept Lee. this arduous employment at the expense of my Do I know you? I would not expect you to know me. Come, Connor. There's someone I want you to meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. So I doubt not that I will discharge the last thing that is all I desire. The two of you coming to blows. Connor. Allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. As humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have the news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. 
Lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. Here are you. I was just wondering what happens now. There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must contact that broadsheet at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. But no one knows who fired first. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Perhaps, but so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater, especially if it saves lives.
Have you been down to the warehouse? That's the place scrappers go to do the the fighting thing with with the others of the of the sorts. Take your business! I'm looking for Israel Putnam. On whose orders? Samuel Adams. Follow me. 